Oscar Bevis, IFL TV, proudly sponsored by the last Thomas O'Toole. That was fantastic. How do you feel? Oh, amazing. You know, to get a knockout like that on this platform, on the biggest stage in the world, it's, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. You just said to me that two weeks ago you were meant to have a fight scheduled in for tomorrow. So two weeks ago you didn't know you would be here on the zone, on the card where there's an Irishman at the top of the bill. There is Irish in the house as well. Um, I mean, is this one of the best moments of your life? Oh, it's a dream come true. You know, as a kid, I watched matchroom boxing, you know, Eddie Hearn, he was the man. And I always dreamed of, you know, being on a show like this. So when I got the call, it was it was a no brainer, like, you know. And in terms of the week itself, um, just sort of being around and there being cameras and there being a lot of attention, being around some of the superstars of the sport as well. What's this week been like for you? It's been good, you know, you're meeting a lot of good people, you know, being at the press conference in the way and, you know, the likes of Jason Quigley, Boo Boo and even all the other world champions, you know, it's, it's a good atmosphere in the, in the hotel we're staying in and just an ama it's an amazing experience overall, like, you know, to see how a match room works and everything, you know. And in terms of the finish, I know people are, are going to see it because it's plastered all over the internet. It's already doing massive numbers and retweets. Um, just quickly, the shot before it, did you kind of sense that he was hurt because it was that it was that left before it where you just sort of rocked back and you could kind of tell that you had your man? Yeah, it's funny enough because you're always looking up, but I, I seen the leg twitch when I caught him, so I knew I knew he was wobbled like, and then he started backing up to the ropes, and I knew okay, same shot again, but I couldn't just rush in. I didn't want to smother my work like you know, so I wanted to set it up, so I set it up with a few feints, and happy enough, I was able to get the job done. And that knockout, um, just spiteful because you didn't just hit him when he went down, you hit him on the way down as well. And he was out cold, so it was, it was a spiteful knockout. Yeah, maybe it wasn't necessary, but you know, when you're in there, you just kind of like, your focus just get the job done and keep going, you know, you don't think to hold back at all, you know. Yeah, and obviously, I just see your opponent go past, obviously, he's well, um, so you got the result, he's all right. And pretty much, I don't know, would you call it the perfect week? Oh, definitely, yeah. You know, I would have liked to maybe get a few more rounds, like, but. Yeah, no, perfect week. You know, getting the win is the most important thing, and getting it that way in front of the whole world essentially is it's, it's great. Yeah. And you mentioned obviously Eddie Hearn and the massive platform. He's ringside. He would have seen it. Um, maybe some conversations could be had about about you appearing on the zone again. Yeah, we'll see. Hopefully, you know, this is the best platform in the world to box on. So you know, anytime I get an opportunity boxing it, I'll box on it. You know, so well, hopefully we can have a conversation and see where it goes. You see a fantastic moment for only the second fight of your career. This just must make you want to jump in the ring again and, and work hard to essentially achieve your goals. That's it, yeah. Just back in the gym now next week. Even there's only two minutes in there, but you could see things I need to work on still. Like, you know, so just back in the gym, you know, you never stop learning. So definitely things to improve on. Right, go and look at your phones. I know you'll have tons of messages because that was a serious knockout. Well done. I'm going to keep the phone off for the day and the night. I actually just enjoy tonight and look at it tomorrow. <laughs>